Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play White Knight Chronicles 2. Alright, let's get our next hunt. Yeah, probably should have saved it up by the Adventurous Guild, but yeah. I made my choice and here we are. Fortunately, our town carries that service as well. Alright, how's it going, Harry? Doing all right. I hope so. All right. Next up, uh, one we're taking on, on taking on is eviction notice level fifty plus. The Dogma Rift. The target is Python, a horrific wyvern that can split boulders. Is living in the Dogma Rift. Head over there and convince the beast to move out. All right, so yeah, level fifty plus, fifteen hundred gilder, twenty five hundred experience across the board, and thirty thousand guild point reward. And we get a dragon slayer, either longsword or. Katana and a couple of lovely pearls. Let's accept it. And let's uh, get ready for this. <clears throat> All right. And yeah, the uh, quickest way to this particular hunt is from uh, Faria slash the Lost Forest. So yeah. All right, before I get into my command sets, we do have some skill points to put to use with Scardine here. And we want to finally get him Judgment. And finally, the much-needed Dexterity up, and the ever-so-important Agility up as well. There we go. <sighs> Going to need all the accuracy we can get in this particular hunt. Should uh, something specific happen, but anyways... All right, so for yeah, for Lyriel here, yeah, as it said, splitting boulders. Chances are it's going to be an Earth Elemental Wyvern. So basically, it's going to be based off the uh, Solon Wyvern. So as I've got the uh, command set set up for Lyriel here, I've got the Lightning Bolt there, the third the third tier Wind spell there. And I figured why not? Um, if it's a Wyvern, gonna probably at some point have to start shooting it in the head from the ground. And to get it out of the sky, and I figured, well, we've got some mana potion ones still, so yeah, let's uh, use up some MP, shall we? Plus, I don't think, yeah, I don't even think I've shown you what that spell looks like, so yeah. Got the usual stuff: twin blades, armor breaker, shield breaker, slow, and yeah, usual piercing attack here, as well as the wind slash combo aerial combo here. So there we go. For Eldor. Got him on his slash as well. I removed the spirit ward because I'm much more interested in making sure that we keep try to keep magic ward on it as much as we can, just to uh, mitigate the amount of magical damage it can do. Yeah, especially when it's in the air. <laughs> and I've got him with his usual uh, three hit slash combo there. Yeah, nice uh, three action ship, three hit with an extra hit because the well the slash is at ten. So yeah. And then Scardine, and I swapped his. Iron Breaker skill out for the Sentinel stance here, just so to give him a bit more resistance against magical attacks as well. So yeah, and I've got him with the uh, four hit wind slash aerial combo here. I was debating going down to just the Whirlwind Air Raid downcast for four action chips, but I figured, you know what? It's 15 action chips we've got. Yeah, just unleash this three times. I'll probably, let me save this for when we can uh, stagger it and have uh, Scardine unleash this on it to uh, three times two or three times so, or so to speak so nice save that as a big one uh so yeah eldor we're gonna try and use him to help uh help stagger it as quickly as possible if possible so yeah and uh yeah so obviously lyriel will be doing t doing the honors of trying to keep arm breaker and shield breaker on and uh that's about it all right and i uh, can't remember if i did this on screen or not but i did repair everything so everything's uh all uh Shiny and sharp and ready to go. And you have the silver cat eyes on Lyriel there. The Mirage Shield for paralysis protection. Not so much for the fight, but for the, the journey there. So yeah, paralysis protection still uh, ever so useful. Alright, and with that, I guess... Let's go. Let's see if we can take this thing down. Or at least ask it kindly to leave, if it gives us the option. Probably not, because it is technically a monster, you know. 
All right. Wow, it's been a while since we've been here, eh, viewers? Let's climb down. Ah, uh, the palace. Uh, the Dragon King of old was imprisoned in this very place. It's interesting how just looking at that place kind of gets me moist-eyed sometimes because of what happened there. What happened with Kara? Yeah. She was one of my favorite characters. Oh yeah, and get where we need to go, it's literally like right around the corner, so yeah. And if in case you're wondering, yeah, that's how far you'd have to go if you were coming the other direction. Alright, let's do this. Lots of stuff that can paralyze us. Into it there, uh, Skardine. <laughs> well, reminiscent of Caesar, was it? <clears throat> yeah, if you run into any Vespids here, you probably will have to use the full uh, three hit pierce combo with the uh, the arctic lance on it so like pitting all three uh, QTEs to be able to one shot it with it so yeah just a heads up there just the two hits isn't enough all right through this tunnel here To the opening. And there it is. Alright. Wyverns themselves are no joke, and this is a bounty hunt, so it's a beefier one, so. Alright, let's uh, get twin blades out. Hopefully, we don't have to do this more than once, and let's just start taking out the uh, stragglers first. Try to keep as many action ships as I can. I may actually try to help. Hmm. Debating on whether I want both me and Elder using combos on it just to help stagger it as quickly as possible. I think I may try that. Alright. Just the Feather Lizard. Alright, let's get Armbreaker. Shield breaker. Let's get a slow one as well. Switch over to Eldor. Let's get magic ward on it. Scardine. Oh, that's different. Okay. Oh, set my stance. All right, let's do this. And Eldor is uh, no, I'm not gonna do any more because I want to go after the wings. Eldor, do it. Missed the wings again. Oh, well. Ah, that attack from it kind of threw me off. Ow! All right, we staggered it. Go for it, Skardine! I don't have any action. Oh, do we have anything left in the tank there? Alright, Eldor, before it tries to take off. Ah! Okay. Okay, he's still got it up. Armbreaker. Okay. Glad I got that in time. Right, let's do this. Eldor, you got anything in the tank? I 
anymore. Probably not, but... Oh boy. Oh yeah, I guess I could, probably could have used it five times with him. Oh! Alright, let's actually help the healing here. Oh, he's healing himself. Uh, yeah, let's... And, all right, back off. Larry's time to shine. Okay, he's going after me. Let's guard, just in case. Glad I guarded. Look at the damage. Oh, that hurt. Okay, we gotta be careful because, yeah. Ooh. Should have guarded. Need more MP on the potion. Let's defend. More MP. Let's use them up. Let's use them both. Get rid of them once and for all. Yes, this thing can take a beating. And up we go. Alright. Yeah. It'd be great if this thing would actually you know, land for a change. Because we were beating on it too hard. Uh, yeah, defend. I mean, we've got the uh, resistance, at least, their equipment. Ah, I saw that coming. Up oh, we get. Indeed. And down it goes. Eldor, you're up. And down it goes. Woohoo! As with any wyvern, I feel like that's worth a celebration. Always have been a challenge. Good work, guys. All right. I, honestly, I think that's probably the quickest I've ever been able to stagger it, you know, getting into the fight. Usually I get it. It usually lifts off, goes into the air at least once before I can stagger it, but I guess... Going hard on it with the on its wings with the uh, combos was a uh, the way to go. Yeah, obviously, as with any Wyvern fight, be careful. That may have looked easier than it actually was, because, yeah. Those things, especially because it's a bounty hunt, it is significantly stronger than the uh, the regular ones. And, yeah, they even the regular ones can catch you off guard pretty easily. If you're not uh, ready for them, you know. All right, so now obviously we could go back to Faria to turn it in, but I'm actually going to turn it in in Balindor. Yeah, I guess just for simplicity's sake, keep it Balador. Anywhere to the east of the Van Haven Waste is probably the, a good place to go. Alright, how's it going, Malcolm? I know I didn't sign up for it here, but we've got another uh, hunt complete. So 
suppose we should see if anybody else has gained any levels from this as well. And there we go. Alright, so it is a long sword. So yeah, obviously, base stats-wise, it is technically weaker on the physical attacks than the uh, sword that uh, the Agito that Eldor currently has. But it also has boosted MP, and it has the Dragon Killer effect on it, so... I think I'll probably still hold on to it, just in case we need to uh, fight something like that again. Or until we get something better, you know, so let's take it all. Alright. So I guess that's about it for now. Anybody gain any levels? It looks like we might have. Yeah, Lyria gained a level. Awesome. Alright, next for her is Staff Master 2. And we want Mana Slash. Mana Thrust. And yeah. Just trying to see here. Yeah, I think it's going to be Mana Strike, and that should open our next, uh, our first stat ups. So, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, memory serves, but yeah. All right, so there we go. We have defeated the Python. All right. Uh, where's the closest? Yeah, it's still there. All right, so yeah, this is a bit of a shorter episode, but uh, yeah, the bounty hunts, you know. Generally, it's a good bet that you're only going to get one per per uh, video, you know. Unfortunately, depending on how long you want the videos to go, but yeah. So yeah, next time we'll take on the next one, and obviously you probably know what it's going to be, because I already said it would be going after the spider fighter at last. So yeah, next time we'll take on the inconsiderate neighbor, and maybe uh, appeal to his, uh, his uh, greater sensibilities, and uh, maybe we can get out of there without... Uh, no harm, no foul, you know. <laughs> Alright, so this is Intrepid83 signing off. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like on your way out. It really helps support the series and the channel here, and I humbly thank you for your support in that manner. And if you have not subscribed yet, why not head on over to the channel, see if there's anything there that can potentially earn your subscription. And if it does, or if you have subscribed, thank you so very much for subscribing. Thank you all, regardless, for spending some of your time here today, and we'll thank you for watching. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.